Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to share you some of the advantages and disadvantages of owning a pre-selling property or pre-selling project. But before I will officially start, make sure to subscribe on this channel. Selling is very popular in the real estate industry nowadays because um, it is basically means that you are buying a property that is not yet built. Here are the three advantages of owning a pre selling project or pre selling properties. The first one is cheaper. So, usually, if you're gonna purchase a property within a pre selling stage, the price is lower 30 to 50 percent than the normal price or than the ready for occupancy units and aside from cheaper the developer also can give you the best payment scheme and lower monthly amortization so for example the property is going to be built like three to four years in terms so meaning to say you're gonna pay the down payment of that property that you purchase within three to four years in time so that's why you can avail the very lowest monthly amortization of your property other than ready for occupancy units. Second one is you can choose the best unit because usually a project within the pre-selling stage, you are one of those people who are ready to avail the early stage of purchasing and selling the property so you still have a lot of options when it comes to choosing the best unit that you want the third advantages of owning a pre-selling properties is it is really a great option for investment why because since i've told you the first advantages is that you can avail 30 to 50 percent lower than the ready for occupancy units the property where will increase in value every year so for example um you're gonna purchase a property worth three million this year and like two to three years or three to four years from the time that it will be torn over the property will increase like around more than 50 percent of the purchase price of the property so based on the report from bsp or bsp or banco central ng pilipinas is that eight to nine percent increase for the condominium and for the housing is three to four percent and it is also hedge against inflation aside from advantages of owning a pre-selling project or pre-selling properties of course there are also some disadvantages so the first one is there would be times that there would be changes when it comes to plan amenities features the floor plan sizes of the units and so on the second one is that um mostly it will it happens that there would be a delay when it comes to the construction and the turnover of the units so if the developer gonna promise you like three years um turnover or first turnover but there are some developer that they gonna turn over it after four years five years so that is sometimes beyond the control of the developer also that's all for today's video thank you for watching hope to see you soon in my next video